Yeah, I'm going to show you the uh, new Minimax uh, power sluice system. And it also turns into a sluice box and also into a concentrator. And this is a great portable machine with the components it comes with. You can either put together the high banker, comes with two water pumps, uh, it comes with different screens for it, it comes with a flare, it comes with the sluice itself, and it's got a lot of great features to it. Uh, one thing I've added, what a lot of people do, is they put in a small rubber matting up in the flare, so as you're dumping your material in there, you can see your gold right then and there. You can also see it in the uh, Miracle mat in here. One of the fantastic features about this box, it's got this new leg design where the legs swivel and they close in so you can carry it and transport it real easy. Or you can rotate the leg in multiple different positions and you can see these holes here. And this spring-loaded pin here will lock in any different position. There you go, locked into place and you can then adjust the leg. You can move it in and out for shallower or deeper water. And what this allows for is you can set the sluice up just about anywhere. Uh, in deeper water and shallower water where you don't have to build rock dams around it to help divert water in or support the sluice at a certain height, you can change the height of your sluice box real easy. And that's a great feature. Then when you're done, you can just simply uh, pull the pin out, twist it a touch and you can rotate that back and you can make it flat so you can carry the sluice box around real easy. And that makes it real portable. And all four legs are the same and you got a nice carrying handle uh, to be able to carry the box. And you know what? You're dealing with a small lightweight package and for a sluice box, this is the hot ticket. It's got a taller riffle for faster water it's got a little shorter riffle in here where you can see your gold right off the bat. And it's also got our miracle mat with a piece of expanded metal screen. And what's interesting about this, you can loosen this bolt right here. And you can pop that screen up, move it back. And now your matting slides right out now for easy cleanup or you can slide in the piece of miracle mat that fits in there real nice and also locks in the place. But uh, it's super easy to clean out. You don't have the weight of the steel riffles. You got something that's super lightweight and super portable. This is probably one of the most innovative uh, sluices we've ever made. And it also, you can quick change it into a small little high banker, battery powered, that's totally quiet. And you can set it up as a concentrator it's kind of like a uh, three-in-one type of device. This machine is a sluice box, concentrator, and high banker all-in-one. What you're looking at now, that's our new, uh, what we call a flood header. So it's a header box with two ports for running one water pump. And then you can even use the center port if you wanted to later and, and run a small little gasoline-powered uh, water pump to it. But the nice feature about the 12-volt system is it's silent. Nobody even knows that you're there. So we're going to set this up in a minute and uh, why don't you guys come along and uh, let's have some fun. Hey Ryan, what you got going here? Oh, we got the sluice set up. We built a little bit of a uh, uh, bit of rocks to guide the water into the sluice box. Yeah, a little dam or diversion in there? Yeah. Good deal. Well, you mind if I set up my sluice uh, next to yours? Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. Well, this is one of the modes of operation that you can use your uh, Minimax uh, power sluice slash concentrator slash high banker. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust the legs. And then we're going to set it in without building up a dam. Release it and click. This is pretty neat because you got a built-in stand built into the sluice. And it also saves a lot of uh, weight as well. I think this only probably weighs about uh, 12, 13 pounds or so. So I could pretty much set this up anywhere. So let me get the, the legs adjusted. What do you think? It makes it pretty easy. I'm going to be loving this. Now that we got everything all set up, we're going to start feeding some material into the sluice. And I can actually dump the whole bucket into it, but uh, 
sometimes uh, feeding it slow and you can actually see what you got. And I'll see that gold stick right onto the mat. Okay. One nice thing about a flare, you can dump a lot of material in at once and just let the water energy carry it through. Okay. All right, we just ran some uh, bucket loads through here. And you can see, you can still see some material in there. Pretty hard to see, but I think I see a couple little tiny specks down in there. But uh, down in here, then I have to make sure you clear that. But it looks like there's actually a little a little nugget right in there. Let's see if I can grab that. I don't know if it's gold or not. Let's find out. Look at that. Right on. Found uh, my first nugget today. And it's kind of got a little bit of character to it also. I'd say probably, I don't know, half to two thirds of a gram. And when you find that big stuff, sometimes you can't wait to actually uh, pan it out in your concentrates. So hopefully you got a little tiny container. This is where I keep my little pickers. I got a little picker from yesterday. Add to the collection something a little, a little meatier. All right. One of the nice things about this sluice is how easy it is to clean it out. It's not like a lot of traditional sluices that you have a carpet to clean out and have to undo all the mats and stuff like this. This thing's super easy to do. Lift the sluice out of the water real carefully. We're gonna do that right now. Cut off some of the flow. Okay. Grab it like this. Stick it down in there and simply just, that's one nice thing about these rubber mats. I just saw another piece of gold. And then we can uh, loosen this up. Okay, get that loose. Now that we've used this for a sluice, let me show you how this works as a high banker. Now that you've seen this operate as a sluice box, uh, we're gonna turn this into a little tiny uh, high banker. Now it's important when you're high banking to have a little settling pond, which we have that already. But uh, we're gonna switch out some parts here. We're gonna remove the flare right now. We supply it with uh, wing nuts, which make it a lot easier. Save all of that. Set your flare off to the side. And we're gonna put on our little end cap. And fit that up to place. And then we'll start putting our bolts back in. Now we got this, let's set this in place and then I'll get the hopper ready and we'll pop the hopper right on. It's quick release, so it comes off real easy and it's uh, quite a setup, wait and see. This looks like a perfect little place to uh, make a little dam and create a little settling pond. We've got a natural flow of water coming up out of the hillside, coming down here. And I think, you know, we can use this because it won't let any of the dirty water back into the stream. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this thing up now. I like to canter the first set of legs out a bit. Snaps into place. And I do the same on this side. Make sure you're good and stable. Uh, the tilt of this unit, you can actually run a pretty good sized tilt, maybe uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch per foot. And now we got the other uh, piece of it, which is the upper hopper. This is called a flood hopper. It actually floods uh, over the slip through this little header box. And it's got the, the little pieces, that you, the little stems you can hook up your hose to. Uh, you can also hook up a little gasoline powered motor by simply cutting that off and creating a couple of little notches in there to tighten up a little inch and a half fitting so you can uh, use a water pump with it. And the two little pins 
those pins will fit into here just like so. And then you fold this thing down like so. And it holds it into place. And it's pretty stable. It also comes with equipped with a piece of uh, miracle mat right here, which we kind of call like a scalper ruffle. You got a little lip right here that holds the grizzly bar into place. And you simply just pop it in there. And there's little pins right here. That's what keeps it in place. Push it in and just let it set down. Look at that, it's almost set up. All we need to do is attach our uh, water pump hoses to it and it's ready to go. And the nice thing about it is they're 12 volt pumps so the thing's literally silent. These are little hoses that it comes with. It comes with four foot hoses, uh, clamps, and two uh, US made water pumps, not Chinese. And another thing that's easy, you can pull it apart and you have easy access to the impeller. You got a little lock that keeps it in place. Okay, and you push that in and rotate it. Push the little lock in and that way you can clean out the debris. Insert our two water pumps hoses. Got the water pumps in there. Clip one clip onto the other. Okay, clip that onto my negative. And there we go, we got water. And it's that simple. The flood header in here helps regulate the flow and give you a nice even flow. But you gotta make sure you get the air bubbles out of this. So I'll, I'll run my hand in here. Let's run some material real quick. And what's good about this, you don't have to worry about classifying your rocks. You just let it build up on the classifier, then scoot it off the edge. Okay, you can also use this to wash out your rocks real good. Back your stuff as you're scooting it off. Try move it a little bit more material here. Oh yeah. Love the people that have been running out these out in the field are running tw 20, 30, 40 bucket loads in a day. Probably a good ton of material. Uh, I think you could probably, if your material is a little classified, a little smaller, you could probably run a lot more. It takes a lot longer when you're dealing with a lot of rocks. Look at that, I can see a piece of gold right there. I'm gonna clean it out in a minute. We'll see what we got and see if we found some gold. See if we're sticking to this spot or, or moving to another. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my water flow off for a touch. Let's take a look at the upper mat up here. Look at that. There's some gold in there. See that? And this miracle mat, a lot of the gold likes to get up underneath that lip. Probably a little more gold than we think. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit of water and splash it down in through there. Okay, got that cleaned up. Got that. Hopefully all the gold that was in that little scalper mat. We'll shut it off for a second. Just lifts up and pulls out. Lift the hopper right up, so angle it upwards, and the thing just pulls off. And I'll use this uh, water hose here to uh, hydraulic the stuff on out of the sluice and uh, into a bucket. And wash off our mat. What's nice about this is the way that this plastic mat comes right out. It just slides right out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save all these concentrates. Uh, I could actually pan it out, but I wanna show you guys how it works. Because we got a lot of black sands to deal with. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this back up to camp 
set it up again as a concentrator and run it and show you how the rest of this machine does it. Like I said, what's great about this machine, it's three units in one. You can, use it, you can easily convert it from a sluice box to a high banker to a concentrate all in one machine. And you can sure save a lot of money. Get our little bungee cord on this. Wrap it around. Make sure all my wing bolts are tight. And there you go. You got an entire package, which is a sluice, concentrator, and high banker that probably weighs about, I don't know, 20, 22 pounds. And it's easy to carry. We just got back to camp. We're going to try out the Mini Max. It's a concentrator. And we're going to take it off the pack and set it up in our little tub over here and do a little recirculation system and uh, we've seen some nice color and we're going to see what we get out of our concentrates. So I'm going to undo this nut. I'm going to lift this up and that's why the hull is elongated so you can drop it down. And we're going to slide the mat out of its little track like so. And we're going to slide the miracle mat in. It also slides underneath that track. And the key is, is locking it down on that first riffle. So we're going to move this forward, like so, okay, tighten our wing nut, and it's pretty much set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold down our legs and adjust it, all right, good. Now we'll do the final adjustment once we get the water flowing and we can actually see what's going and try to get the water flow even out throughout the whole sluice. And now what we're going to do, we're going to drop our hopper on. So you just line up the pins to the slots, just like so. You fold back the leg, okay, just get it in that screen, and it's pretty stable. And uh, all we need to do now is hook up the pumps. Yeah, the water pumps we fit in down around our classifier right here, and uh, push that back in. And if you don't tighten it too much, you can actually pressure fit this in and not have to use any tools at all. Now all of our quarter inch uh, plus will come across the classifier and we can eliminate that. We can put a bucket down here, catch that stuff if we want. But we, we can actually see it, what's going across it. And if there's any larger gold, well, uh, we'll see it hopefully on the way out. Okay, good enough. Let it run for a minute. Make sure we eliminate all the, all the uh, air bubbles out of it. Now you're running a lot of velocity in this, so you want to make sure that you don't put too much angle on it. A lot of people don't realize, but even a few degrees can speed up that water flow by an easy 20%. So what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust the back legs down. Okay. okay, now you can even tell by the sound that that water is traveling a lot, a lot slower. And if you look at the sluice, you can see that we're only running maybe an inch and a half higher than the other side. You don't need to run a lot of tilt on the sluice. One of the nice things and how the Miracle mat works the best is to try to have it as flat as possible. Norm is one of my old buddies that I've been mining with for about 35 years and he came up here to uh, visit because he really wanted to see this machine work. What do you think so far? So far it's a nice little unit. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Right on. Well, hey, you worked at this as hard as I did today. Go ahead and move some of that material. We got a quarter inch classifier down here and Look at that, look at that. I just knocked it through. Down here is the Miracle Mat. And what the Miracle Mat is, it's a small Hungarian riffle that's less than a quarter inch tall. You can get 200 plus mesh gold out of it. And this is something you can set up in your front yard. Uh, you can either bring buckets home to it or you can use it out in the field with the Miracle Mat or also the other green mat that we were using earlier.
Yeah, see a couple pieces right in here. I see a bunch of that fine kind of hanging out all through here. Right where it should be. And also right in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect our power for a second. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. We got a little tiny picker right there. We got a bunch of fine gold all throughout here. So let's just take that. Oh, look at that right there. Wow. Very nice piece. I'm going to run it on one pump for a minute. Okay. I'm going to flip this. Yeah. You can actually, you can actually see the gold show up now. The more, the more the it water, likes to stay right in that map. Yeah, the more the this water way. cleans it. So I don't lose that. It's okay. It's all going to come out in the mix. Look at that gold. Really likes to stick onto that mat Good. Okay. Take that off. Now the hopper just comes off by. Just lifting it off like that. Now I'm going to remove that wing nut. Okay, we're going to lift that up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to use a water pressure. I just want to see what kind of gold we have in here. Oh yeah, there's some pieces in there. Yeah, now we're talking. There we go. Sometimes you just have to move that mat sideways and clean out these riffles. You got a piece just underneath your pinky. <coughs> Careful with that one, that's decent size. Okay, move there's, that out of the way. Some in there. Still? still? In the carpet. Yeah, yeah, you still have some in the carpet. Oh, wow, I see it. <laughs> still underneath your pinky. Yeah, I see it. It's hard to get that gold out of the mat sometimes. Right there, you got it. Okay, good. I could actually slide this out either way. I'm going to slide it up for right now. And uh, after that, I'm going to move the unit out of the tub and we're going to pan it out. Oh yeah, you, see, you hear that too? Clinker. Sorry, Dorm. Oh my God. Okay, got all that stuff washed into the pan. You finally had a chance to see it being used as a high banker, as a sluice box, and also as a concentrator. And at the end of the day, this is what you got. And that's really what it's all about. Going out, having fun, having an adventure, and hanging out with your buddies. <laughs> right on, Norm. You're welcome, man. Thank you, brother. You're Thanks welcome. for all your help. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Let's go back down now before it gets dark. <laughs> For more information about the Keen Mini Max and or purchasing, visit KeenENG.com or give them a call at 1-800-392-GOLD. And if you'd like to see more high banking video, visit ProspectingChannel.com and watch episode number 29 of Adventures in Prospecting in the Programs page. Thanks for watching and gold luck out there.